Hey everybody, Doug Rucker here coming to you from DougRuckerSchool.com and DougRuckerStore.com. Hey, we just hit 5,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for that. Um, glad it's been helpful to everyone. So in celebration of that, I've got five tools that I'm going to show you I think that can really help your business and uh, not necessarily take it to the next level, but I think it will definitely help you uh, improve your productivity. So I'm going to go over those five things coming up next. Okay, guys, uh, first thing, uh, these are kind of top five things that I think uh, you've got to have, um, as well as uh, our, our top five sellers at DougRuckerStore.com. First one is the Kingslinger soft wash system. So I'm not necessarily saying you have to have this one. I'm just saying you've got to have some type of soft wash system. Um, if you're going to get into doing a lot of work, especially that have heavy uh, organic stains. This comes with the 10 gallon per minute pump, the highest rated gallon per minute pump that you can get um, with FlowJet. There are other soft wash systems out there, water boosters, gas operated, all that kind of stuff. But if you're looking for something that will really help you control your uh, amount of solution, that you're putting and onto a surface. And uh, it basically the Kingslinger and any soft wash system is like a pump up sprayer on steroids. So it's just gonna allow you to get stronger mix ratios of your bleach, water, and surfactant onto a surface without having to carry around a pump sprayer and you know pumping it all the way around the house or on a roof or whatever. Um, just really gonna save you a lot of time. So a soft wash type system, or I like to call them, it's just a dedicated pump because the very first dedicated pump was probably a trigger sprayer or a pump up sprayer. So that's the number one thing that you have to consider when you're starting your business is whether you're ready to get into something like that if your business is busy enough. If you're just starting um, and you can fit this into your budget, great thing to have. But uh, if you can't, you know, a pump up sprayer will do you until you can build your business and afford one of these things. Um, and it will just really help you increase, like I said, your productivity, help you clean better, um, save yourself a lot of time and a lot of aggravation over using that pump up. Now, don't get me wrong, we have pump up sprayers on our truck and we use them all the time, especially for a little spot spraying instead of having to, to pull this out. But you really your main thing is if you're doing roofs you've got to have something like this because this is going to get your mixture higher you can't get it as high uh, to clean a roof using the downstream method or uh, even x-jet i don't recommend using the x-jet uh, either in its normal uh, original how it comes or in the modified, which um, <clears throat> we've got a video on that on the channel as well. So that's the first thing is a soft wash system. This is the King Slinger, um, and it's available on our website if you want to read more about that and see some videos about how it works. Okay, guys, uh, number next, number two, I would have to say the next uh, most popular item and also most important or important tool to have um, is some type of gun setup when you are cleaning and so I always recommend this little gun setup here this is called the pressure washer pressure washing gun assembly and you can order this ready to use which we charge a little bit more to put it together for you or you can order it uh, DIY in which the parts come uh, separated and you put it all together very easy to put together uh, but this is an awesome tool to have when you're downstreaming or want to connect extension wands to it for pressure washing at higher uh, PSI so the pressure washing gun assembly comes with your orange gun or black gun whichever you choose has your fitting down here to connect to your 
hose like this. Um, if, and it even, even gives you the option to uh, choose whether you want the coupler down here or the plug coming out. And so then up here it has a gun swivel. So this allows you to rotate the gun um, left and right. So if you have a J-Rod, which is probably the third most popular item or one of the most popular items, um, so it allows you to put your J-Rod in it. And so if you're cleaning something going this way and then you want to go vertical, all you have to do is turn the gun like this and go up, down, or turn it back, go side to side. So it prevents you having to stop your jaw on the job and take your nozzle and take it out, put it back in, or in some cases, if there's hardly any pressure, you can just rotate the uh, nozzle or the J-Rod. But anyway, it mainly, it basically stops you from having to do that. So you can rotate the gun um, and save yourself a lot of time and do that pretty quick, especially if you're going a, a lot of wood. So we'll, you know, we'll clean, let me get this tightened down a little bit. So mainly like on wood um, or columns or even some brick surfaces. And uh, let's say down at the bottom of the wood, I want to get a stripe going because I know I'm going to have to go up and down like this. Um, so we'll, we, it allows us to get that bottom portion going horizontal like this. And then I can just turn it and start going vertical without having to stopping. So, or stop on the job. So just saves you a lot of time pressure washing gun assembly, and then the J-Rod that will fit your uh, machine. And a lot of people get confused about the different sizes on the J-Rod. And so if you just look at the holes, you can see you've got two larger holes. You've got two smaller holes, orifice sizes basically is what they're called. So these two are designed for pulling your chemical, the large round one you can shoot two to three stories depending on the gallon per minute of your machine and then this one is for applying your chemical down low these two are for rinsing this is basically a zero degree tip like a red tip so i don't recommend using it for rinsing but you can you just want to stay off the surface and what's going to happen is it's going to be a lot of mist that's doing your rinsing going to take a lot of time. So most guys have some way to use this for rinsing by turning the chemical mix off either with a bypass injector or taking your siphon tube out of your bleach bucket and putting it into a uh, clear water bucket and then you can rinse with that tip. Then also this here, this is a rinse low tip so it's going to be a wider fan spray and allow you to clean brick under low pressure. So this is what a lot of people use mainly are these three tips. Um, that's the three tips that I use. And that's how we're able to soft wash um, using a pressure washer via downstreaming. Downstreaming to me is the original soft wash cleaning method. Always has been, always will be for me. Some others it may not be and that's okay. Um, so that is the pressure wash gun assembly. Next would be the modified X-Jet, which looks very similar to this. The only difference is when you modify the X-Jet, you're taking the actual orifice of the X-Jet, you're putting it closer to the gun. And so that allows you to uh, hook the hose that comes out of here down to your X-Jet bucket or put it into a five gallon bucket or whatever that you're gonna be uh, using for your chemical mix and then allows you to use your same j-rod that you used on your whoops that you used on your pressure washing gun assembly and get the same type of low pressure but higher volume uh, versus the original when you have this hooked with the nozzle off the end of the gun when it's off the end of the gun you get a lot of atomization, a lot of pressure when you modify it, it prevents that. And there's a video we'll link up to that that will show you that. Um, but that would be another popular item that I recommend, um, especially if you just want to uh, 
in areas where you've got to get a lot of stronger mix and you can't afford the soft wash system, then this will help you do that. But again, I do not recommend using these for a roof. These suck a lot of bleach and you'll go through a lot of bleach fast. Um, so I just don't think it's very uh, economical to do it that way. And uh, also kind of a pain in the neck because you've got this other hose coming down that you've got to keep track of as well as uh, the pressure washing hose. Okay, the next thing that I would talk about is the check valve for a downstream injector. These are awesome to have. You connect them to your downstream injector. You remove the ball and spring up here, which is the thing that goes out and, uh, and causes most downstream injectors to fail. And so you take a down uh, check valve like this remove the hose barb that's coming off of the downstream injector, attach this with Teflon tape, and then put your siphon hose here. And so this will get you a little bit stronger mix. You know, they advertise uh, that you can get up to 20% more draw. Um, I've never measured it. I don't ever measure ratios. I really don't care what, what it's coming out at. Um, but uh, the check, all I care about is, is it cleaning or is it not? Or is it changing the color of that algae and that mildew or not? So if I'm downstreaming and it's a lot of black mildew, then I know uh, I'm going to need to use the pump up sprayer or the Kingslinger soft wash system to get that stronger mix and what downstream can provide. But um, check valve is a great thing to have. Your injectors will last way longer. We have them in all stainless and it will come just like this. Uh, you have to provide your uh, downstream injector as well as the fittings that come off like both ends. And then we also have it in brass fittings, which is a little bit more economical. I've used both. To me, the brass is a little bit, is, is lasts just as long as the stainless. I haven't had any issues with the, with the brass and you're going to save yourself some money by going with the brass if that's what you want to do but some guys prefer the stainless and that's okay too it's really just comes down to a personal preference thing but if you're on a really tight budget and you want to try one of these then i would go with the brass because uh, they work and perform just as well as the stainless the only difference is you're fitting up here is stainless on the stainless one and the stainless hose barb or you've got a brass fitting up top and a brass fitting down on the bottom. Okay. Hey guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Uh, be sure to hit that bell so you get notifications every time I come out with something. Uh, give me a like and most of all, leave me a comment or a question. Love to answer those questions. Hey, this is going to be a uh, kind of a series I'm going to do for the next few weeks. Top five things uh, or top five something or another <laughs> um, so this week like I said is on tools I think you could use or accessories however you, whatever you want to call them uh, we'll be doing one or I'll be doing one on top five chemicals or my top five things that I use out in the field carry on the truck kind of go over you know how we use them why we use them where we use them that type of thing I'm going to do some top five sales things, some top five maybe quote things, just some different things. So don't know what we're going to call it yet. May not even have a name for it. Who knows? <laughs> um, top five Wednesday or Wednesday wacky. Who, who knows? Anyway, uh, just want to try to do some things that I think will help you guys. And so I uh, hope that does. Uh, but again, let us know through either uh, subscribing, uh, hitting a like, uh, most of all, comments, questions, and hit that bell for notification. Okay, everybody, uh, the next thing would be definitely a ball valve setup would be a great thing to have. I would put that in my top five things that you need to have. Uh, this comes with the ball valve. It comes with your two fittings, uh, coupler or plug. I have plug coming, uh, water coming out of the plug. Uh, that's just the way I was taught, but a lot of guys have the coupler up on the front. So that's just a personal preference thing, however you like to do it. 
Most machines come with the coupler as the lead fitting. I always change it, make it the plug so that every, every connection the water is going through the plug. And very simply what's going to happen is you're going to take your pressure washing hose and you're going to hook it up here and then this swivels and so it keeps the hose from binding up and getting into loops like this while you're cleaning and then having to try to um, twist it back out so the hose can move freely uh, as you're cleaning a property and then also it allows you the ball valve allows you to you can downstream out of it um, it's a great way to rinse and crack the ball valve a little bit and get a little you know a, a, a higher rate of volume coming out than say a garden hose but no pressure like if you're using a high pressure nozzle and then it's a great tool also if you want to switch from your gun to a surface cleaner without going back to the machine shutting it off or whatever you can do that by just turning the ball valve and then disconnecting from your gun put it into your surface cleaner turn it back on and you're back in business so it saves you a lot of time so ball valve setup would be um, another top five thing that I would recommend uh, just an awesome tool to have and again it comes in a DIY setup you can save a little bit of money where you just get all the parts you put it together how you want it or you can specify if you want the inlet fitting to be the coupler or the inlet fitting to be the plug and we'll put it together for you for just a little bit more money so a ball valve setup is another uh, top five tool that i think you should have okay everybody the next thing that i think you should have is an adjustable gun this is basically a tool that allows you the way we use it to adjust your pressure by rotating this grip and so you can you can adjust the pressure up or down full pressure lower it down it allows you to um, clean under lower pressure especially trimming out driveways cleaning brick things of that nature you can put your nozzle right through here um, i've used it before with the j-rod you can do that or uh, what i what we do mostly is use that yellow or green tip that comes with your unit um, if it came with your unit and put it in there and so it allows us to again control our pressure and i'll put a, a link to a video up above showing how we use the uh, adjustable gun i think it's cleaning some brick but i've got a couple of videos on this but this would be the next top five this is originally designed to downstream so basically what happens is if you if you had your mix from your downstream injector um, hooked up what you would do is uh, when you turn this down your bleach mix will come out of the lower nozzle the wider nozzle and then you would rinse by turning it all the way up shutting this off but if you're using the green or the yellow tip then it's going to be high pressure rinsing so again like the zero degree tip i was talking about a while ago it would be a lot of mist um, and high pressure it would just take a lot of time to rinse doing that so we don't use it for downstreaming we just use it with plain water coming out so when we turn this down there's no bleach mix coming out of the bottom it's only water um, and allows us to clean around delicate areas and control pretty much control your pressure at the gun and it allows you again to soft wash with a pressure washer so uh, that's the other great tool those are the five great tools that I recommend everybody have um, they're just things that are going to be time savers for you uh, increase your product productivity in some cases help you clean better um, faster that type of thing all right everybody here's a quick little bonus tip for you uh, I would be remiss if I didn't talk about the oils that we use for our machines our trucks my personal vehicles these are high performance lubricants we have them for pressure washers um, for the engines we have them for the air compressor for the Kingslinger and we also have them for your pump on your pressure washer and so uh, they're just really excellent uh, 
lubricants to use. The guy that's the main distributor around here for these, Edwin, uh, some of y'all have talked to him before. He does all our service work and builds. Um, he's the main distributor for these. And funny story, he came over one day and trying to sell me on these oils. And I'm like, you know, I've used regular oil for years. So it's no big deal. I don't, <laughs> I don't need to get some type of uh, high performance lubricant. But what happened was I tried them in our personal vehicles and was just amazed at how much better they ran and how less frequently I had to change the oil in our vehicles. So I then tried them in our pressure washers, um, both the engines and the pumps. And so uh, notice how much better they ran, how much longer. Again, I didn't have to change the oil as frequently because the oil just lasted longer. Put it into our King Slingers, um, put it into our trucks, all of that, and it's really, even though I pay a little bit more money for this oil per quart than you would go into Napa and get Valvoline or Quaker State or whatever, um, I'm actually saving more money because I don't have to do the maintenance of changing the oil as frequently as I used to with those other oils. So um, that's a little bonus tip for you guys. Um, you know, I, I sell these for what they cost us on our website, so I don't really make any money off of them. I just really think they'll be very helpful if you got those um, and use them. But, you know, that's just something you have to decide if you want to do or not. So, hope this has been helpful for you guys. Um, King Slinger or some type of dedicated pump if you're ever going to want to do roofs. Um, when you need to clean a lot of really bad black mildew, you know, green is easy to get off with uh, downstreaming. Some black is, but on um, stucco and some other surfaces, uh, you have to be, you, sometimes you just got to get that stronger mix that a dedicated pump will deliver you. Uh, modified X-Jet gun, we have those available if you think that's something that will help you. Then the pressure washing gun assembly, one of my favorite tools. You can put on wands to get extra length. We have aluminum pipe wands on our site that uh, you can get that will connect into those. Then, of course, the adjustable gun, adjustable wand. Some people call it a variable lance, by the way. I call it an adjustable because that's what I'm using is to adjust the pressure. Then you've got the ball valve setup. Pretty simple thing. Awesome tool to have, save you a lot of time running back and forth to the truck when you want to change attachments. Um, and also keep your hose from getting binded up and twisted up. And then the check valve, downstream check valve uh, that you put onto your downstream injector, they come like this and you can choose stainless steel or you can choose brass. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave me a like, a comment. Um, especially questions. I love helping you guys out, uh, answering your questions. But uh, hit that bell also. That'll give you a notification. Email, I think, comes or whatever when I've posted something new that could help you guys. And once again, thank you guys for uh, helping us achieve 5,000 subscribers last week. That was uh, pretty cool to see. Um, I don't get real impressed by numbers. Uh, I get impressed by how many people I can help and how many people, you know, lives we can help change by improving their business and supporting their family and uh, things like that. So thanks so much anyway, but subscribe, leave a comment or a question, hit that bell for a notification and leave me a like and share this out if you think it'll help somebody. Y'all have an awesome day, Memorial Weekend coming up. We're probably gonna be closed Friday here at the store. So leave us a message. We'll pick it back up on Tuesday when we come in. I think we're going to take a long weekend because it's been a very, very busy uh, spring. Hey, guys, I can tell you one thing also on these parts, guns and swivels and ball valves and things of that nature. This spring has just been unprecedented. Um, even before the pandemic started for getting supplies, the supply industry is just really broken right now. So it takes us some time 
sometimes get parts and then when we get parts in they go out because we have so many orders on back order so we're encouraging people if you want to use the contact form on the uh, store website don't message me on Facebook or message us through our Facebook store um, it's real important that Laura or Kathy get those emails from the contact form and you can check before you order what you're wanting to order and we can kind of email you back and give you an idea um, how long it may take if we have it in stock if it's out of stock that type of thing so we've got that on our website at the top if you hit click here there's a little explanation about all that what you can do so you might want to click on that before you order because we just don't want to hold people up um, especially if you're in a hurry and some people you know order something on a Monday because they need it for a job on Wednesday or Thursday and we just want to make sure that you know uh, all up front what we have what we don't have so that we can um, help you facilitate getting what you need either through us or through somebody else